Hey everybody, this is your psychic Christine Wallace. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting as often as I should, but I do want you guys to know that I have a lot of clients that I work for, and I am a super busy psychic. But that doesn't mean I don't have time for you. And in my spare time, I do put up these postings and I do put up these blogs. And if you're a member of, uh, of one of my subscription packages, you, you're, you're taken care of. You know, I meditate for all of my clients literally every single night. And we practically talk to each other every day, every other day. And the objective here is to build a better life <laughs> and helping all of my clients to heal from anything that is causing them any setbacks, whether it's something coming from the outside or whether we're manifesting stuff that we really don't want to manifest, but it ends up happening anyway. So this is what I'm here for, to help you out. So without further ado, let's move into this uh, episode here. And let's talk about the different parts of ourselves. We are many different things or people, or characters, kind of all wrapped into one. And no, I'm not talking about split personalities or something like that. What I'm talking about here is a lot of us have an inner child that is in a position that they really shouldn't be in. What am I saying? Sometimes we have had these negative experiences either in our childhood or very young in our lives that has given us some emotional setback. And we have basically a hurt child. And in many cases, I have observed over the last 30 years this inner child, which is sometimes eight years old or 10 years old or 12 years old, this is the part of ourselves that are dealing with the biggest troubles of our lives. This is the, this is the side of ourselves that's dealing with that difficult boss. This is the side of ourselves that's dealing with that family conflict, the bad romantic relationship that person that hurt us. And I mean, I'm just putting this out there for argument purposes because there are a lot of you listening, but let's just for argument purposes, let's say that this inner child is 10 years old. Okay. And it's different for everybody, but the one I'm working with right now is 10. And this is a tough kid dealing with adult problems. And this is a side of ourselves that we all have. And like I said, it, it's kind of like this kid is angry. This kid can't forgive. This kid feels old. This kid is feeling so many feelings of betrayal. But we have to step up because there's also another side of ourselves. And it's the side of us in the here and in the now. Okay, so let's, again, for argument purposes, let's just say the adult side of ourselves is 30 years old or 40 years old. So it's the adult self that has to come in and deal with the adult issues. Okay, now how do we manage this? What is, what is everybody talking about when it comes to self-love? What does this have to do with what I'm talking about right now? Self-love is kind of the present you, the one who knows better, coming up to this 10-year-old child 
which is your former self, healing the child and letting the child take a back seat to life's drama. Because if the adult in you can heal the inner child and nurture the inner child and give the necessary nurturing and advice to the inner child, then the child can heal and kind of, you know, step aside and just allow the adult to take the steering wheel of your life moving forward because this you, the adult in you, can handle life's troubles with one hand behind your back because you know you have experience, you have wisdom, you have intelligence, you have understanding, and you know what you're supposed to do. And the inner child hears it all, but doesn't apply it, but the adult in you does. The, the inner child is too angry to listen. And the inner child in many ways is very much like the ego. Okay, because the ego is, I want what I want, and I want it now. And if I don't get it, get what I want now, then this is cause to be upset. That's the ego. This is the ego speaking. And we all know that ego interferes with our progress in life moving forward. But nonetheless we do have to attend to it. So this is the inner battle. This is a battle that a lot of us are going through inside. So my advice on how to handle this situation is like I said, heal the inner child. We have to look inside and have more awareness of what's happening on the inside between the adult and the inner child. And we have to have the adult make peace with the child. We have to hear what the child is saying, because if we don't, the anger in the inner child is going to keep building up and demanding control of your life moving forward. I hope that what I'm saying is not getting too confusing. And if you can, I'd love for you to send me some comments on how, you know, you're understanding what it is that I'm saying and applying this to your life. So, like I said, there's this inner dialogue. One is angry and one is a cool, rational adult. So the cool and rational one has to console the one that is really not getting or feeling that their needs are being met, very demanding, like I said, very unforgiving, very angry. And when the inner child has the steering wheel, like I said, of our lives, we get stumped because having those kinds of feelings inside of ourselves we can't move forward. We can't move forward if we're angry. We can't move forward if we can't forgive ourselves. And if we can't forgive other people, that's another important thing. Forgiveness. A lot of people say that you need to forgive other people before you can move forward. It's easier said than done. I mean, a lot of this stuff is easier said than done if you think about it. You know, you talk, it sounds easy, but then when you try to really apply it, to life, it's hard to forgive. And it's even harder to forgive other people if we haven't gotten to a place in our lives where we forgive ourselves for our mistakes or forgive ourselves for allowing other people to do what they did to us. So if we struggle with forgiving ourselves, how in the world are we going to forgive other people? So the moral of the story or the message today 
is to be kind to ourselves. If, you, if we can find a way to be kind and loving to ourselves and forgive ourselves for the mistakes that we've made, then of course it's going to be a lot easier to forgive others and even forget. And a lot of us make the mistake of, you know, we think about our past. How did I let that happen? How did I let that person get away with this? Why did I trust this person or why did whatever the case may be? And like I said, we punish ourselves for allowing stuff to happen. But you have to remember that you didn't have all the information back then that you have now. You also have to remember who you were and what you knew at the time. I think there's a thing, uh, a quote in Alice in Wonderland. I think she said something along the lines of, I can't go back to who or where I was before because I was different then. <laughs> so no sense in going back. So it's kind of like that. But anyway, I really hope that this, uh, this episode is helping you, my listeners, work on self-examination, learning to first forgive ourselves before we start to even think about forgiving other people. It ha everything has to start with us first, getting ourselves in the right place. And like I said, maybe there was a traumatic event when you were 10 or 12 or 8 or 9, and does this angry child still have the steering wheel of your life? Are we still dealing with life from that place? And if we are, then there are definitely changes that need to happen. And I think that a lot of us get stuck because meaning the inner child gets stuck with the steering wheel because we don't get past the anger. We don't get past the betrayal and all of these negative feelings. Uh, and we kind of get stuck in that emotional place. So this is the thing that we need to address is what I'm saying. And then if we can clear up this stuff, then moving forward in life is going to be a lot easier to manage. So thank you so much for listening, everybody. Namaste. Sending lots of love and light and wishing you all the very best of luck. Bye-bye.